Death? Give me your report. Things couldn't be better, sir. In the U.S. alone, we had 50 million abortions, and just this year, we had 50,000 suicides. Worldwide, there's approximately one murder every 60 seconds. So I guess you could say we're slowly taking them out at every age, in every way, for every reason you can think of. You think every 60 seconds is something to be proud of? I want to see that number in half. Have your men increase rage and anger in people. Find out whatever it is that tips people off and exploit that. Present more opportunities for substance abuse. Lust, give me your report. Our research shows that lust is at an all-time high, thanks to our media department. Since our joint project in developing the pornography industry, we have seen viewership exponentially increase in young adults. 79% of men, and get this, 76% of young women. Addiction is inevitable. Yes, the damage and crippling effect of this is catastrophic. Addiction not only ruins lives, but it destroys the marriage, thus destroying the family, and leads to alcoholism, drug addiction, perversion, and depression. We are ready for them in my department, sir. If I may. We started a You Are Not Enough campaign. It's working quite well. We are drawing men, women, and even children to the conclusion that no matter how hard they try, they will never be enough. We repeatedly remind them of their failures. We keep them up at night, thinking about all the things that they've done wrong. So in the morning, they're exhausted, and they have to start the day out depressed. And get this, they even end up hating themselves, voluntarily. I like your strategy. Have your team push hard. Fear, what is your report? Sir, anxiety attacks are on the rise. We've conditioned people with trigger points, things that cause them to stress out and fear that even something worse is going to happen. We flood them with negative thoughts all day and all night through the news and social media. I would say we're sufficiently preventing them from living an abundant life. <laughs> so, the churches, they're diminishing in size, yes? Sir, if... If I may interject, no more mega churches. <coughs> uh, well, what I want, what I wanted to say is, what is it? The uh, churches on a global level are actually growing. According to our statistics, Africa and Asia are experiencing um, exponential growth. Africa alone, we're seeing uh, thirty-three thousand new Christians every single day. What are you saying? That our efforts aren't working? Depression. What do you have to explain this? Our tactics are working. It's just in some cases, they're growing too fast for us to stop it. Logistics is currently working on figuring out how it all happened. Figuring it out? Just increase the efforts, you idiot. Fear, addiction, lust, death. Double and triple your attacks. Sir, that, that's just it. We're all working at our maximum output to, to date. This is all happening despite the, the poverty, the, the oppression, the, the threat of, of death, not to mention all the temptations we're all throwing at him uh, every single day. The, the church, it, it just, it, it, seems, it, it seems to be- Just say it. It's unstoppable. I keep hearing the phrase, the church has left the building. Like, wh where is it going? What building? What does that even mean? What is causing this success? How are they even fighting your attacks? In spite of our best efforts to water down the gospel and convince them of a different message than what the Bible says, stadiums are still being filled with people who, who are crying out to God. They're, they're actually reading their Bibles, then memorizing and quoting scriptures. So when bad things happen to them, they're saying things like, greater is he who's in me than he who's in the world, and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. When sickness comes after them, they say things like, I am healed by his stripes and it is finished. And this is working? We haven't technically 
don't know how to defeat the word of God. We've tried twisting it, offending people with it, confusing them when they try to read it, even distracting them so they don't want to read it. But still, there are people pressing through our defenses. It's, it's like they're determined to win. This is unacceptable! Start younger. Be more deceptive. Put little messages in their little children's shows. Make them long for me, for my power, for darkness. Give them a desire in their hearts to harm one another. Make them feel worthless, but make them hate God! Stop the Christians from evangelizing. Make them busy, distracting, all of them. Make them so self-absorbed in social media that they have no desire to be social. And let's remember our company motto, do whatever it takes. Go!